Hello and welcome to a Horizon Production tutorial. Short tutorial today in uh, 3ds Max explaining how to add bit files onto a rig character. If you want to know how to actually rig your character in the first place, I'll, I'll put the link down in the description of some other guy on YouTube uh, explaining it much better than I will ever be able to. So you want to check that out. <coughs> yeah, I've got my character from TurboSquid.com. I'll post a link to it as well, uh, really great site if you want any sort of models, um, quite a lot of free ones on there so it's worth checking out. And um, Once you've got your model, um, as you can see on my one, if you're using my one, if you render that you can actually see that the rigging is still there and they haven't actually taken it out um, of view, so what I'm going to do is right click the um, soldier, go into wireframe, right click the soldier, go free selection, then zoom out of it select um, all of the rigging right click object properties and deselect renderable ok then right click somewhere unfree tool go back to smooth render then it's completely gone so it looks much better straight away then you want to go back into wireframe and zoom in to the waist area and you can see a sort of diamond uh, shaped object which is a centerpiece of the um, rig character and you can change those things and just using that so you select that go along to the top here on your motion tab and select motion flow mode actually you don't have to do that yet if you just click in load file I've got a random bit file post a link where you can get loads of bit files as well so you can just download these and add them on it's easy as easy as what I'm doing here so you select your bit file, OK. Literally, as you can see, if I go into smooth, it's added the animation as easy as that. So simple. And if you wanted to add multiple things like him walking and then getting short or any sort anything at all, you go into motion play mode over here and the uh, double and bend the arrows. Then go low file. No, don't do that. Show graph create multiple clips, I've only got this one that works so I'm going to have to just use this one for now and go open, you can see it appears in the window here and then back to our right hand side click the define script so we've made our um, sequence uh, if you will and then we go back over here, if we had multiple we could um, click on each one individually but because you only got one if you click on it you see it appears on the right hand side so then it's playing that click on it again on the in the window, you can see it appears again, so it's going to do it again. So, let's go away. Falls, gets back up weirdly, falls again. You just keep clicking it. It's just going to keep on doing it over and over again. Falling, getting up, falling, getting up, falling. So, that's the basic way of adding um, movement to your rig character. Obviously, different bit files would look better than just a guy falling over badly so you can have him walking and falling over or anything at all it look it looked quite good so simple so um, try it out see if it works for you just um, test out different um, bit files test out different um, combinations see if it works for you thanks for watching